so today we will be seeing pega mass of poc okay so let's first understand what is mass of okay so if you search in google you'll find many articles okay and so if you search then you can just open the first one from the pega academy so let's let's read it and what uh, pega mass up is okay so pega mass ups enable you to embed pega applications content or functionality within a web page or mobile applications on your internet oh, internet or internet site for users to view on any device you can create a pega mass ups in app studio and dev studio and deploy to leverage the security and user interface features of pega platform so basically what it is saying that let's say you have a site okay let's say you have a um a sites where you give an options for the users to apply loan okay or for anything like let's say i'm like uh, you have a credit card applications in pega or you have a loan applications in pega okay but that cannot be accessed directly from that like user okay Le okay the normal users okay not the enterprise users okay so in that scenario what we can do okay we can embed our pega case creations part okay that the moment they are browsing on the sites okay and they are going through that okay that what credit card best offer suits for me or what education loan or other things okay and if they are willing they can directly apply from there okay so they don't have to access pega applications so basically we'll embed our pega applications to the normal websites okay so that is the definition now how we can do that okay how we can achieve it so let's see that okay so i'll show from the beginning to start okay i'll so this is just a uh, mock up page i have created so you can just imagine this is my website okay where i have the header i have the footer and in the middle of that sections i have just a place for now pega mass of poc and best place for education loan so let's say you are browsing the sites okay now if you are agreeing to that okay we can have a button okay let's i'll place a button and say apply loan okay <laughs> apply education loan so the moment i'll say apply education loan this this should pop up me to uh, this should pop up me the pega applications to create a case to fill the details and apply for the loan so let's see how we can do that so to do that we have some prerequisite okay so we'll first do the prerequisite so the first prerequisite is what we have to do okay wherever we are hosting that that application so that we have to add it in this a security tab okay so here trusted origin so you can see that pega masks gadgets for that one we have to embed okay but for now we don't have because we just want to do it from that our local system okay or even you can do it in your desktop like you can create a html page and you can do it so for that what you can do for now you can just select report only and px default allow all so in that will in that way what will happen it will allow everything it won't block anything so yes you'll get a warning high severity warning but that's fine we are doing a poc we are not doing a real implementation so this is the first things which you have to do the next things which we have to do is now we have to generate a mass of code which we will be embedding in our applications okay so there are two places from where we can generate so the one place is you can go to case type and then navigate to settings and then here we'll see somewhere integration so here we can come to integration okay and then from here we can generate so how we want to so today we are learning about um, uh, mass up so we will we can click this one and then generate the code so we can take this code and embed in our application okay but i tried and from here like few issues are there like a skin parameter and other things are not coming okay so this is one place from here also you can generate i'll show you the another place so another place is what we can do we can go to uh, channel interfaces either you can go from the app studio or from you can go from the dev studio as well okay now from this uh, this one here we can select channel interfaces if you go to app studio then we'll see that options okay on that uh, left side so here from here we'll click web mass up okay now after clicking that we can give some descriptions that what like uh, what we want to do here so just we can give pega mass of poc or we can give education loan education loan mashup so you just descriptions okay and then same we can give here okay fine now which case we want to create as okay so the next thing is what we have to do is okay here we we can select encryptions yes it should be selected there is no problem by default it selected so leave it leave the uh, url li like it okay next thing is that what actions we want to perform so you can see here we have many actions display a page get next work open assignment so like we, as we perform many things in pega so these are the main actions which we perform we create a case 
we do a get next work we open an assignment okay and then few more things but today we will be seeing only ex one actions create a new case okay so i selected create a new case then it is asking which case you want so i'm selecting education loan okay and then it is saying day for mass upload okay if you want we can select okay so let's select that one as well and retain um, the detain mass up state on browser so if you want like you can read more on this one and then you can select okay allow passing dynamic parameters yes this is important means like dynamic parameters is must from the web applications okay let's say if i have logged in and from there only i want to populate few i mean i, I basically i want to send some data dynamically okay as a parameter i'll, I'll show you so then like let's say i want to pass the user id and password okay so that you want to allow or not yes so we want to pass few parameters okay so we will allow we okay we'll see and then a skin so yes loan application so we can select our loan applications a skin and then framing size auto or fixed okay so we can just say auto and then uh, initial skeleton so we can select this one also default okay so this is the configurations if you want some have custom parameters that also we can define so this is it for now simply because we are just doing a poc okay so we don't need uh, so many parameters so just now come here and then click generate mass of code so once we do that it will generate two kind of a code one for iframe code iframe code and then another one is web mass up okay so today we will be using uh, first we will see that the web mass ups okay so now what we have to do we have to take this code and simply go ahead and paste it out paste in in our site okay so let's see okay what i'll do i'll copy this now i'll go ahead and you can see here i have already def designed that page so you can see that in this page what we have okay one second this was already there so i'll just remove it so this page is nothing it is just a simple page which have the header and footer okay and then in between here i'll add my mass of code okay so now i i have added my mass of code okay now we'll do a few more things okay so what we will do here is that if i'll do that okay let's see that how how it will look okay so let's see okay one more issue is that now here this was that site okay so let's refresh this site so here we can see that third party cookies must be enabled for masses to functions okay so basically our code is working but we are getting some exceptions okay so i tried to fix that in in chrome but it didn't work okay but it worked in mozilla and it worked in uh, safari so what you can do is for your poc you can use mozilla it was very smooth in mozilla so what i'll do so and also you can see that okay this is like somewhere in my system okay so it's not hosted on server so basically you can have this pega massive.html on your a desktop as well so it you don't need basically a server okay so here just i'll copy this path it's just a file so i'll copy this path and paste it in mozilla so we can see that the pega screen loaded in my website okay so we have the footer and we have the header okay so now here we can see that case 30112 so let's see if, the, if this case got created inside pega or not so we'll we'll go back to our pega so here we'll go to work and then see if that 3012 case got created or not so we can see that 3012 case got created now what i'll do i'll fill some data and see if the data is available if the data is passing to the server so let me create a case and submit it so we can see that okay basic details we are some uh, seeing and this information is also we are seeing okay so now let's go and open this case and see the clipboard if the data passed to the system so if we see the py work page we can see the data see first name last name everything is there so now let's deep dive more to the code okay so again we'll come back to that this one so basically this this entire code we got it from pega and we pasted in our applications in dev okay and here only i was saying that we can pass more parameters so here you can see that data page actions param and parameters so here we have a key and value so here we have the user identifier and then password is this so this is like encrypted password 64 base 
for roles okay so here if you want to add more parameters if you want to pass more parameters we can do it like this we can do it like this and add the value key and value key and value so this is how it will work now this is working fine next thing is that let's say okay when i'm loading this site so let's see here 3012 the moment i'll refresh it will again create a new case but we don't want to create a new case each time okay so in that case you can so this is like what pega is giving it's a javascript kind of api so you can develop your own actions that on click of actions only i want to to create a case or i want to do something so for that you can navigate it to pega and in this one here i can attach this link also so pega is giving this function javascript functions we can pass that all those things and this java functions we can call it in a button okay so for now what i'll do i'll simply i'll try to hide this div i'll try to hide this div initially when we are loading and then we will enable on click of button okay so let's see how we can do that okay so here i have already written a, a functions okay which will what it will do it will show the div okay so which div so here we can define the id so we can say mass up let's say and and then here it's already defined mass up and then initially we'll make the display none display none so that on load it won't display but the moment i'll click so the button here it's a, is there is a button so i'll enable the button code as well i have written a button as well so on click of this button what we're doing so deep so it will show the value click to apply for a loan okay so let me refresh and then see what is happening now so it won't create a case see i'm getting a button like this so that is what i was explaining in the beginning that when you are like browsing your site okay this case should not be visible but def but once you make up your mind that yes i want to go for a credit card or i want to go for a loan or for anything then you can take actions okay so now if, here if i click then it should show me a new case so let's see what was our last case so if you see our last case was 3012 so it should create a next 3013 so let's see i'll i'll do that refresh i'll click here the button again so see here 3014 got created so maybe I, i would have created another case in between but here we can see that on click of that the case got created okay and again we can submit and then go for it or maybe in the back end like uh, because we we hide it the div so in the back end it's creating a case but for that only what you can do you can follow this approach okay so that would be the best approach because we can use as a api okay like currently what i'm showing i'm just hiding the div and then like showing the div on a click of button okay but this the, this link i can attach i can i will attach in my videos this this is the way okay the actually we should implement it okay but now at least for a poc and this is good and it's working okay so this is a overall so let's see the code again what we did okay let's recap what we did so the first things which we did is that we configure our application so uh, we already have uh, two case types educations or home or anything okay and then uh, like in the applications we have to make sure that our origin is added in the security uh, if not then we have to allow all okay for poc we can do that next things what we have to do we have to we have to generate the mass of code so mass of code we can generate it from the two place one is from the settings uh, set, uh, we can go to case type and then settings and in settings we can go to integration okay so here we'll find somewhere integration integration so from here we can generate the next place is we can open the channel and interfaces from this uh, application uh, navigation okay so channel interfaces so one thing you can do it from here okay out of the same actions we will get it from the app studio as well because if you read in uh, pdn pega will definitely say that navigate it from the app studio so here we can click on channel and then we can do a mash up here and then from here we can fill the data and generate that okay after generating come again to your code okay paste that code so here you can see that div is there and then script things is there few little extra things is there and then for set is passing the parameter because see definitely when when you're showing on site you don't want any user to enter the login user id and password okay so this is just a basic authentication so i'm passing the user id and password which we already have in pega but if you are going for a real time then definitely some sso or some unauthenticated like if you're uh, um, if you're expecting that guest user can also fill the form then some uh, uh, some authentication methods should be there okay but for now this is just a poc so this code we are using to pass the 
parameter so that like each time we don't have to pass the parameter like we don't have to log in it will work auto so system only so this piece of code is passing and then that uh, that's the simple div code okay which we have placed okay and then also we learned that how we can pass the dynamic parameter page okay so this is it and this is a very easy so you can do that poc and and see how uh, how it will work for you few things few issues definitely will face is that if you're trying in chrome one more thing is that if you're trying in chrome it might work if you are um, going into a developer mode okay so once you'll go in developer mode it might work so here it is asking me permission so here you can see that i have went to developer mode and then selected ipad air okay or you can select any other uh, things also ipad mini and then in this scenario it will work okay so then you can give permission okay confirm and then say apply to loan so yeah it's still not working in chrome but yeah we can ignore that but it will work in safari and and uh, mozilla okay so if you don't have a safari you can definitely install a mozilla in your system and and test it so that's it for today's sessions and i hope this uh, quick sessions will help you so thank you thank you very much have a good day